thank you for being here. And uh, I wanted to welcome everyone in France. For those who have traveled far from home to be here and join our big family, our young global family, give one project. Uh, we have uh, people from, from Canada, from Senegal, from Chad, from Ohio, from the United States, etc., from all over the world to uh, come here with your busy schedule and everything you're doing back home. Uh, and I know you're doing that to be in the same spirit that we are. And that spirit is to um, help and focus on more of our commonalities and what we have in common and what brings us together and celebrate our, our differences and our strength, which is the greatest thing we have is our differences. And the world today needs that celebration. And there is no greater place to celebrate that today than Paris. Because a few months ago, what happened in Paris, us coming here afterward, is reminding us of our commonalities and our humanness and how we can build on uh, our differences. Each one of you is very special here because we had um, application from around the world, people who wanted to participate. Because we do this in Washington every year. We have young entrepreneurs, young people who are starting businesses, some who are already got businesses, creating jobs in their countries. We have some who are in diplomacy, some in their governments, and some are working on other things such as politics. We have the youngest mayor of Senegal here. We have some who are Congress members and such. So we were not wrong, I think, to believe that we are doing our part to invest in the young global leaders, to invest in uh, putting a small part of the seed of the future tree that will grow and give shade to the world. Because you are the seed and you will be the tree to give shade to the wall. And I hope that this week that you spend together will be an opportunity to build on partnerships in business. This is why we started MEDEF. Because the problem today at the wall is that young people can't find jobs, whether it's in Canada, in, the, in France, in Senegal, or in the United States. And I always say the best way to find jobs is to create it yourself. And uh, that's why I'm so thankful to Mr. Gattas uh, and his team, <coughs> especially Celine, for all of the hard work you've done to welcome us here into the, the, symbolic, the symbolic place that represents entrepreneurship, not only in France, but in Europe. Because when you say the MEDEF, everybody knows you're talking about business now. <laughs> we ain't talking politics no more. <laughs> and in our first stop in Paris, we are at the MEDEF. Mr. Gattas has, has a very busy schedule, as you can imagine. Uh, he is supposed to travel to Paris in, in to Morocco in a few hours. Morocco too. To Morocco, yes. When I was in Morocco yesterday, uh, in the news, I saw that he's coming. In the initial program you had, he was supposed to be here tomorrow. And even with his busy schedule, he decided to be here today and welcome you in Paris. And also, uh, I just want to give a small anecdote before I introduce him so he can say a few words. You know, two, three years ago, I was invited in Paris by Mr. Gattad. That was his first year, I think, as president of MEDEF. To the, the biggest gathering they have in Paris on entrepreneurship with the MEDEF Summer Dete, I think they call it, uh, University Dete at HSA. And I came from Washington to come here to speak. And uh, most of you already saw that speech was with them, which I was talking about how in France, it'll be great to invest in those areas we call here Cartier on entrepreneurship and young people. My speech was centered on that. Because since 2010, Mr. Claude Bebeyard and I, from AXA, has been doing a lot of work with Give One Project France to engage 
young entrepreneurs in the car chase. Unbelievable, a year passed, uh, this guy moved fast. I come back here, I saw on the next panel, I had Musa Kamara, Badreddin, all these young people from all over the place. I like, wow, last time when I came, I was the only minority. And today, because of his engagement, his willingness to bring others to get involved in the economic process here, Le Determiné, that's being led by Musa Kamara, some of them are here, uh, is being a, a, an example that other countries already want to copy. For that, please help me give them a round of applause for all of the <laughs> Determinés who are here. And those Determinés are here to show that young people from the Cartes can come from the Cartes to not only find jobs for themselves, but create jobs in the country. And he's given them that opportunity. So I wanted to personally thank you for all that you are doing for the young people of France. You, you made our job very easy. I've been very engaged in France since 2010 to bring people like Musa, people like Aminata, people like Akim, who do all these young people now becoming leaders in Paris. I was bringing them to the United States to train them, to give them opportunities that they needed. Today, we don't need to do that much because the MEDEF is taking the lead to show them how to not only take but to participate and give opportunity to more young people. So I want to take the, the opportunity to, for, for us to really thank Mr. Mr. Gattas, the MEDEF, and thank all of you, our speakers who came from abroad uh, to come to share your time. We have a great friend of us from the White House who's here, uh, Ken Andre, special uh, liaison to the president of the Department of HUD. And we have our board member, Bridget Reno, who's been with me from the beginning in Paris. Thank you for all that you do. Please give me, help me give her a round of applause for your engagement also. Thank you. So I wanted to um, briefly give uh, Mr. Gattas the, the mic to, to welcome you in France. I don't know how we did this anyway, because I'm in his home, and I'm the one that's introducing him. <laughs> So thank you, thank you, thank you, Pierre, for being thank here. Thank, thank you, you so much. Appreciate thank it, you, man. Thank you. God bless. Thank you. Thank you for very much. I'm going to speak in English with a very strong French accent <laughs> in order that everybody can understand me. And I think the next uh, uh, 21st language, you know, for, of humanity should be English with a strong French accent. <laughs> <laughs> I would like to promote that. You know, we know that everybody can understand, so I'm going to to say that. <laughs> Thank you very much, Chun, for all what you said. I think you are a symbol, you are a model of, you know, a person, well, your experience, your history is uh, remarkable, outstanding, and I'm very happy to welcome you here. I'm very happy that you follow the French activities, that you are part of our uh, Université d'été, uh, Summer University of Monet, in August, every August, and invite you, and you can testimony, and you can have uh, uh, good words, uh, optimistic words uh, on uh, where to go and uh, trust in our youth. And this is a key point. You know, we all want to create uh, a better world. We all want, and I think this better world will be, will be done through the youth, through any people, any kind of people, together. And uh, this is so important uh, to see the creativity in the youth, the, uh, uh, they, they take risks, they are brave, they are courageous. Uh, they come from all over the world, and this is a, a, a big asset. And this is a very big asset of France. Because France, uh, as a tough asset, as you know, maybe where people are, people are talking about the you know, art, culture, uh, wine, uh, you know, uh, climate, food, uh, food uh, cheese. <laughs> uh, well, there's a lot of things. But uh, we absolutely need to be reopened to the world, because the world has to be equipped first. And then we have to reinvent and to invent and to build the future. So these are the two uh, great uh, uh, challenges that we have in order to generate growth. And we have to do that, equip the world and uh, create the future through entrepreneurs, through business, through companies, which are the best human community with the family that we ever have. So we have to, to, to make that happen. We have to promote that. And anybody and I'm sure in this room, we have young entrepreneurs, a lot of them. Some of them will maybe become CEOs of very large companies. Some of them will be ministers, prime ministers, presidents, I'm sure. 
Uh, and I think it's very important that business, you know, can be understood as uh, the, the, the way we can uh, be the future, create jobs, promote people, uh, motivate people, give them a job. And uh, this is so important to be the, a better future. Yeah. And together, I mean, you know, the key is together. And you see, in, especially in France, people are, are frightened, you know, we are frightened by everything. Sometimes by the future, sometimes by the world, some, sometimes by the Chinese competition. So we are not by everything. So we should open the windows, as I say, and open the doors. Yeah. And say, okay, the world is to be equipped and people are welcome, of course. And we can build with trust and with trusting the young, trusting the people, first of all, give them opportunities. This is what we try to do in the MEDEF, you know, with Les Determinés, that I would like to, to, to give a salut. I see Aminata over raise there. Your, raise your hand. She's one me. of the first promotions. Yeah. 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 Very, very nice study. She created a company, and there are maybe 15 persons like her in this room. So Levez are, vos mains, Les Determinés. Voilà, les Determinés are here. So go. these people, you know, um, they have a dream, and uh, thanks well, we try to help them to to make their dream as a project and then the project as a company. And they are going to create jobs, and if they fail, it's not the problem. Failing is part of the success. They are going to maybe to fail one time, maybe two times, no problem. You are going to succeed one day. So this is what is so important, is to make that understand in France and in all countries <laughs> that business is a key point. It's maybe 80% of the solutions of all countries, of all countries. Because we can create jobs, we can create invent the future. We, uh, you know, give uh, a dignity through jobs to people, and this is so important. And we create richness and health and wealth for all countries. So this is the bet that we have. This is a big fight that we have, especially you know in France we have a lot of assets, as I say, but we need to create more jobs. To create more jobs, we need more entrepreneurs, and uh, we need more growth. So this is an equation which is very easy. So everybody is welcome in this room to create companies in this very nice country of France. So if you need some help, you come to the US, we'll help you to create jobs in France and to create your company, we'll have a nice network. We have 750,000 companies that we represent, you know, it's uh, the most, uh, uh, I mean, uh, the biggest uh, business association in France. So we can do other things and help people. So this is what I wanted to tell you tonight, you are much and more than welcome in France, in Paris, and this house is your house. Okay, so John, thank you again thank for you. all, and uh, have a good evening, thank you. Uh, thank you. and uh, thank you to be here.